Hello, Mr. Hill here with a short video to guide you through how to use Roman numerals. On first look, Roman numerals can be quite confusing because they use letters instead of numbers. For example, I is worth one, V is worth five, X is worth 10, L is worth 50, C is worth 100, D is 500, and M is worth 1,000. So to help us start understanding how they work, we're going to use a clock. And Roman numerals don't have place value. They build up together. So if we look on our Roman numeral clock on the left and we look at the bottom number that I've circled, VI, we look on a normal clock face with what we know as our normal numbers that we use every day and we can see that six. So we build up the number. So VI is worth six and it means five plus one. XII, the other number I've circled, is at the top of our clock face. And we know the number at the top of our clock face is 12. So XII is 12 and that would be 10 plus one plus one to give us our 12. Now, Roman numerals don't always follow this. There are a couple of special cases. If we look at four and nine, if we work our way around the clock face, we have one, then two, then three eyes. Now we should, if we follow the pattern of building up the numbers, have I, 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 I for four. But this is where it gets complicated. It's not. What they've done, what the Roman numerals do, is they have I, V. Now, where the number or the smaller number is before the bigger number, that means you have to take it away. So this would be five take away one equals four. And if we look at the other number I've circled, I, X, that's nine. We can see that by comparing the two clock faces. Again, the smaller numbers written before the bigger number. So 10 take away one will give us nine. Moving forward, have a go at writing what you think 29 should look like in Roman numerals. Have a go. How did we get on? So building the number. So I've got two parts here. I've got 20 and I've got nine. So remembering what we've got at the bottom of our screen, 20 is going to be X, X, nine, can't do V, I, 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 I have to do I, X, so that's one less than 10 or 10 take away one. So 29 will be X, X, I, X. Now, how would you write 400? Now, remembering we can't have four of the same letter altogether, how could we write 400? using what we've got at the bottom of the screen to help us. Pause here and have a go. OK, what ideas did you come up with? We could have done CD, which would give us what we need. So we put the smaller number first, C and then D. So when it's written like this, it means 500 take away 100, which gives us 400. So that's how you would write 400. Now, moving forward, remember this trick. How could I write 900? We've got a letter for a thousand, but 900 is less than that. Can you work out what it should be? Pause here to have a go. OK, I'm sure you've worked this out. So we have M for a thousand, but 900 is 100 less. So I'm going to put C in front of it. 
when it's written like this, it becomes 1000 take away 900, which is not correct. I've taken the wrong thing away. I've given the answer. It's take away 100, which will give you 900. So moving forward, we build numbers using the Roman numeral system. So we're going to have a go at doing 679 as Roman numerals. Before we do that, I'm going to partition my number. I'm going to take my hundreds and I'm going to split those into values that I know I've got with Roman numerals. So I have a value for 500. I have a value for 100. So I need to work out what letters will go in the boxes. So I can go and look at the bottom of the screen to help me. I've got D for 500. So I'm going to put that in here. And I've got C for 100. They go this way around because we're adding on this time. So we're making the number bigger. Now, moving forward, I need to look at the 79 next. And that splits neatly. I've got a letter for 50. I've got letters I can make two tens with so for 20. And I know the convention for how I'm going to write nine. So 50, we have the letter L. 20, I've got two lots of 10. So that will be X, X. And we have nine which is four more than five, but we don't have four letters the same following each other in Roman numerals. So to write 10, sorry, nine, I need to do one less than 10. So I'm going to write I X. Now that I've done that, I can put my number together. And that will be D C. L, X, X, I, X. And there we have it, how we can build a number using Roman numerals. So what you need to do is look at the numbers, the values we've got for Roman numerals and split your number, partition your number using the facts that you know. So before we go, just to remind you, nice and big on the screen, I is worth one, V is worth five, X is worth 10, L is worth 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. Also remember the Roman numerals don't have four of the same letter following each other. So if you need to be slightly less than something, put the smaller number first, and then the bigger number. So if we were going to write nine, it wouldn't be V I I I I, it would be I X for one less than 10.